Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the fourth question from Lead Course SQL 50 entry questions. This is the problem. So what we have to do is uh, given a, a table called views which has information about uh, articles, uh, who wrote that article and then who viewed the article and the view date. Um, so we, what we have to do is uh, we have to write a SQL query to find all the authors who viewed at least once their own article. So for example, let's say uh, here the author, uh, article 2, he, he is the author, uh, author ID is 7 and then he viewed his own uh, article, view ID is this, he, and then there is one more uh, article ID which is 3 and then written by author ID 4 and then he viewed his own uh, article on this date. The output is, uh, if and then if it's uh, 4 and 7, right? So these and this. Here, this article, article 1, uh, written by ID 3, author ID is 3, and then some other author or some other ID viewed this uh, article. So we don't have to print those. Well, all we have to do is, we have to write uh, print the uh, author ID and view ID should be same. Person who wrote that uh, uh, article, he only himself uh, read or viewed. We need to know uh, the ID, uh, author IDs. Additionally, uh, what they, they are asking us, uh, instead of author ID, we have to rename as, res res result as ID and also it should be sorted. Um, and additionally, one more cache is that uh, it contains duplicate information. So, uh, so there is no primary key. So it, it will have the table may have duplicate value. So for example, let's say it has a 4-4, four, four, there are two places at 4-4. Four, four, so we have to return one out of these two. Plus it should be uh, ascending order. So let's write, select. Select author ID uh, as because they need the column to be as this. So that's the reason I use alias, which is as ID uh, from table called view, from table called view, where it's very simple, where author ID is equals a view ID. So let's see what we get. Wherever there is author ID is equal to view ID, so we get the results. Obviously, this is not the result what they are expecting us. At least we got the IDs right. So we got we got uh, what they wanted. How, however, we have to remove this duplicate. Plus, we have to also sort. So to remove this duplicate, we uh, we have a, a function called uh, distinct. Distinct is a function. I can use to remove the duplicate. Let's uh, run it and then see. Okay, uh, we we got we the duplicate records got uh, removed. Now we have to sort it. So we also have uh, another uh, keyword order by ID. So by default, order by uses uh, ascending order. So I don't have to specify how I want to. Order. There is also uh, an option here, order by ascending or descending, but default it takes care of ascending order, so we can keep as is. So one thing to note is, uh, all the reserved words mm, are uh, distinct is also reserved word. All the reserved words are in the capital letter. Um, so this is the coding standard. So that's all. Code is accepted. So thank you for watching. Let's submit. All it takes up for I guess. Yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video.